What's up guys, it's Mark here, back with another design video. Today's video is probably the one that I've been asked for the most, and I'm pretty excited about it because today I'm gonna to show you guys the easiest way to add gritty looking textures, or any texture for that matter, to your designs in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm gonna show you basically how to take your designs from looking like this to looking like this. And you'll need some textures for this one, but don't worry, I've got some textures made in advance. I'm gonna put a link in the description so that you can download these and use them yourself without having to go and find any. So yeah, without any more delays, let's get stuck into it. Okay guys, so to get started, I've got two things here. First of all, I've got this little design that I made just earlier. Uh, basically, was just trying to create a sort of, uh, a bit like a wax stamp, I guess, with my initial in it. Um, it's just one object here that I've made, but it wouldn't really matter even if I had multiple. So if you've got your design here, first thing you need to do is just make sure that uh, all the layers are in a group. I've only got one object, so I don't have multiple layers, but if you had a complex design, you'd wanna just make sure they're grouped for this. Another thing you're gonna need is a vector texture. I've got this one here, which I will, uh, I'll put a link in the description for this, like I said, and you guys can download it off my Dropbox or something like that, uh, so you don't have to worry about finding your own. I also have a video on my channel, I think it was the first or second video I ever uploaded where I explain how I make these, but I am actually gonna do another video soon anyway and, and give you guys a better explanation of how to do that. So anyway, I've got two things here, my texture, my design. Another thing I'm gonna need is the transparency window. So to open that, just click on window and then go down to transparency and it will look like this. So basically what we're gonna try and create here uh, is this sort of effect where the texture is kind of punched out of the design, almost like a hole punch, I guess. So the final effect would look something kind of like this. If I just colored the design, the texture white, it should look sort of like that when we're finished. Now, we could use this if we had a white background, but if I were to put this anywhere else, you can see that if it's any, any other background color, the white's visible, which we really don't want. Uh, we want it to just be sort of punched through, like I said. We're gonna basically make it anywhere that this texture overlaps with our design, it's gonna become transparent, so that no matter what color it's on or whatever it's in front of, you can see through those, those areas where the holes are. Okay, so because I'm working with textures that are gonna be black and white, which I'll explain in a sec, I'm gonna actually just do the work over here off the side of the whiteboard, just so that you guys can see the texture more easily and it'll make a bit more sense. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my texture is white because what I'm gonna do is have anywhere that Illustrator detects white overlaying with my design, it's gonna hole punch that and make it transparent. So kind of important, you could do it with black but it will model things up a little bit. So just make sure that it's white and make sure that it's on a layer that is in front of your design. So this group here is uh, actually my, my white texture there. So with the... Uh, with the texture and the design here and the transparency window open, I'm gonna highlight both of these and then click on Make Mask. Now don't worry, at the moment uh, you'll notice that your design has disappeared, that's totally fine. What we wanna do is just make sure we've got it selected. I'm gonna uncheck the box that says Clip and then I'm gonna tick the box that says Invert Mask. And now if I zoom in, you can see here that uh, it's it's done exactly what I said before, so it's it's hole punched those areas out, sort of subtracted them from the design for me. So if I just make a new layer to demonstrate this real quick, I'll just chuck it at the back and just draw a red, oops, sorry about that. I'll just draw a red shape in behind and you can see that it, it picks that up properly, which is what we want. Super handy for print and stuff like that as well. One of the really cool things about doing it this way rather than using the Pathfinder tool to subtract it from the design and stuff like that is that we can still adjust it as well. So. If I have my transparency window here, I just need to make sure that I've clicked on the thumbnail to the right. That's the one with the texture. You'll see it selects the texture for me and I can actually just drag that around and reposition it until it's in a place that I'm you know, pretty happy with. So for example, I know that the, this corner here is pretty intense. So if I wanted to bring that in a bit, I could sort of bring that closer to the design and stuff like that to get a more intense look. Uh, also, if you wanna move the design around instead, just click back on to the the other thumbnail here, which is where our design is, and we can still move the whole thing around. So so yeah, there you have it guys, super easy stuff. If anything didn't quite make sense, by all means ask away. And uh, yeah, like I said, there will be links to the file with the texture in the description, so by all means grab that one. And I know that some of you guys might prefer to use Photoshop rather than Illustrator, so sit tight. I do have something special coming for Photoshop as well. I wanna make some cool texture brushes and stuff as well that you guys can download and show you how to apply those to your designs, but still in the works on that one. 
Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you could consider giving it a thumbs up or hitting the subscribe button. I know I've said it before, but as a, a pretty small channel, every time someone likes a video or subscribes to the channel, it's incredibly helpful for me to kind of get my channel off the ground so more people can learn from, from these tutorials. So yeah, thanks for tuning in guys, and I will see you in the next video.